Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to show you six tips for organizing your Google Drive. So let's get started. If you use Google Drive to save your files and you get a lot of templates online where you find nice templates and save it to your drive, you might end up with a drive that looks like this where you have files that are not organized in folders and files with names that start with copy off because again, you got these templates online. Let me show you how to organize your Google Drive. My first tip is to create folders and subfolders. So whenever you are on your drive, in order to create a folder, just go here to new and choose new folder. Give a name to your folder. So let's say I'm saving videos in this folder. So I'm going to call it videos and press create. You can create a lot of folders in your drive. Just go again to new new folder and let's say now I need to save books so I have now two folders on my drive so whenever I'm filming a certain video or I'm creating a video or maybe I got a video online I can save it in the videos folder subfolders are folders that are created inside the main folder so if I go to books for example I have, let's say, fiction books, I have science books. So inside books, I go again to new, another new folder, and I'm going to call it here science or give it a name, which is science books. So this is a subfolder inside the main folder, which is books. You can also upload folders from your computer. So if you have a folder that's ready on your computer, just go here to new, and then instead of choosing new folder, you go to folder upload, you select the folder from your computer and it will be saved on your drive. There's also another way to create a folder. You can just right click on your drive and you can create a new folder here. My second tip for organizing your Google Drive is to create color coded folders. What do you mean by that? As you can see, by default, all folders on Google Drive, they have a gray or dark gray color, but you can change the color of these folders. You just right click on the folder and you go here to change color and you select the color that you want. So for example, now this folder is red. You can do that to all folders and this is very helpful because later whenever you have color codes that you always follow you know that whenever i want plants the color for the plants folder is green so if you have tens of folders on your drive you just look for the green folder and you can locate the plants folder Let's move now to the third tip for organizing Google Drive, and it's one of my favorite. Adding emojis to folders names. As you can see here, just adding an emoji next to the main name of the folder. Adding emojis can make your drive easier to navigate. This also helps younger students to find what they are looking for easily. How can I add an emoji or how can I get emojis? There are two ways. You either use the emojis keyboard on Windows, if you're using Windows, or you can get an emoji from an external website. The website that I love to use is getemoji.com and you will find a link to this website in the description below. Let's start first by getting an emoji from the website. If I want, for example, to rename the videos folder, so I need to look for an emoji that represent videos. So I come here, there are hundreds of emojis that you can simply copy and paste, but I'm going to look for an emoji. So I'm going to look here, as you can see, it says find emojis by name or description. So I'll just write video and I'll search. You get all the emojis related to video. So I'm going to use this one. This is the best. So I press on it. You just select the emoji, you copy it, and then go to your drive, rename the folder by right clicking, or you right click on it, rename, and then at the beginning, add the emoji. Press OK, and an emoji is added. Now let's see how can I add the emoji using the emoji keyboard on Windows. Let me rename books, for example. So I just, again, right click on books, go to rename, 
And now since I'm looking for books, to access the emoji keyboard to find a books emoji, just press on the Windows with the period button together and you will reach the emoji keyboard. Look for books, as you can see it's here because I used it recently, or simply type book and you will find it. Select it, go back here, and as you can see, it's added to the folder name. Press OK, and it's there. My fourth tip for organizing Google Drive is to number your folders or add numbers to folders' names. And this is very important because it helps you arrange your folders and files in any order you want. As you can see here, the folders are arranged in alphabetical order, starting by E up till W, and you can change this order. You can either arrange it by name, or you can arrange it by the date or the time you modif modified this folder. And you can, if you're arranging it by name, it's either from A to Z or the opposite, so you can reverse it here. But still, there's a specific order. I want the order to be based, let's say, on the units I'm teaching. So if I'm teaching motion and forces first, I want this to be the first folder. If Newton's laws is the second unit, I want it to be the second folder and so on. And this is super helpful when you have, let's say, 20 units or 20 folders. How can I arrange it in the order I want? Again, by adding numbers. Let me show you how to do it. First, you rename the first unit that you have or the first folder you want to appear. So if I want motion and forces to be first, I just add number one at the beginning. And let's say Newton's laws is the second. So I just give it number two at the beginning or add number two at the beginning. Let's say work and energy is third. As you can see, it was the last year. So let me rename it and add number three and so on. So now they are arranged in the order I want based on the order of the units I'm teaching in the curriculum. And also to make it even easier, if you have 20 folders again, you can change the view into the list view or use the list layout. So they are a list now and they are arranged in order based on the order that you want and not in alphabetical order. The fifth tip for organizing Google Drive is super helpful to locate files and folders quickly. And this is also useful whenever you have a lot of files and folders shared by others. Sometimes it's difficult to find these files and folders in the shared with me uh, items here. In order to access these files quickly, make sure you add these files to the starred items. To do that, you have two ways. Either right click on the file or on the folder and select add to start. And as you can see, a star is added next to the name of the folder or select the folder itself and press the S keyboard button. And as you can see, again, it's added to start. How can I reach these folders or files, files quickly? Just go to the start items. And as you can see, the folders are here. Now, what if I want to remove these files and folders from the start items? Again, you right click on the folder and you select remove from start or you select the folder and you press the S again and it will be removed from the start items. My sixth and last tip for organizing your drive is to pick out a naming convention. It's very important to stay consistent with the naming process of the folders and files in your drive, and especially the folders. Let me give you an example. Here I have different folders for assessments, projects, quizzes, but as you can see, here I called it assessments, while here I use the word tests, which is the same. Here I started by unit one test, while here I said assessments unit two. Here it's formatives unit one, lesson two. So it's very difficult to navigate these folders. If I have like tens of folders here, it's gonna be very difficult and I can't locate these folders quickly. Let me show you an example, how can you pick or how you can pick a naming convention for these folders. I'm gonna delete all of these folders. And let me show you just one example. Of course, it's up to you to choose a certain naming convention. I'm gonna add a new folder and I'm going to start with the unit. So this is unit one, 
lesson one and i will use the word assessments it means if i'm using summative assessments i'm not gonna use the word tests at all i'm gonna always use the word assessments create then if i want assessments for unit two i just go i start with unit two let's say lesson three also assessments if i need projects for unit two lesson three so press on you i will also start with the unit then the lesson and now i will use the word projects and so on so this is uh, in this way it's very easy for you to navigate the folders because you are using a certain naming convention i hope you found this helpful if you need more information about organizing google drive or about these six tips you can check my instagram post and you will find the link in the description below Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and to press on the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my videos.